okay so first of all what i will do um, i will create three sprites one is ball then paddle then line okay let's add these sprites um, first one is ball i can see it then add another yeah. sprite you know how to add a sprite add paddle okay then add another one add line okay now i have three aspects put the put the line here just set it here in the window put you green pedal here fall here somewhere so to now i have three sprites uh, ball pedal and line you know how to add the sprite then i will add a backdrop also you know this is our backdrop library from here we can add a backdrop click here i will add neon neon tunnel this one so now my interface is ready i have three sprites and like on what i will do uh, what is our target our target is whenever you will run our program this pong ball this ball will just move here and there it will bounce actually okay it will bounce and we will whenever it will bounce back here we will try to touch it by this green pedal you will touch it whenever you will touch it it will again bounce back there like this but if you cannot touch it if this ball touches the red line the game will be stopped this is the game and this is a very common game in some mobile or games android it's actually a common android games so whenever it will touch the line red line it will be stopped so our target is it will bounce back here and there and we will try to touch it by this pedal so if it touches the red line that means this line it will stop so this is our game now let's start let's write some code for the ball uh like when i will run each and i will run write each block and run it for you start here i think move it in degree or turn and point in direction okay so point whenever we will start we will make it 45 degree point in direction 45 degree means uh, i don't know can you see it or not whenever i press the green button uh, it points actually be this ball turns and point to like 45 degree angle if you make it like 90 degree it will change i hope you can see it has actually a turning point by default uh, whenever you give 45 it will point to 45 okay we will check it later again actually 45 means 45 degree something like that 45 degree okay then add a loop forever loop inside the forever loop or oh, what will you do actually i made it for uh, more we will move just move and bounce okay we will move like make it 15 and it will bounce whenever it will touch the edge it will bounce okay so what it will do whenever we start the program it will point 45 degree like this it will bounce here in this way and whenever it will touch the edge it will bounce let's see will it work yeah it's working so it's working perfectly so we are done with a partial section portion of it is to bit so yeah it's bouncing back here and there now our main target is actually we will add, create a variable as score and add it here so you uh, i made some score whenever it will touch the green pedal it will increase its score so this is the score but uh, whenever it will touch the red it will be stop so whenever our ball will touch the pedal it will increase the score so for this we need a variable you know how to create a variable click on the variable we made it make a variable name it as score and you make ensure that 
uh, it's for all sprites so again green flag clicked then click on the variable initially set click on the arrow set s code to zero so whenever we will start our loop initially make it zero okay then add another loop forever loop inside the loop below so whenever we have added a variable s code initially when you will begin our game this will be a zero so what will happen whenever it will touch the pedal it will increase our s code so for this there's in sensing option there's a touching mouse pointer instead of mouse pointer you can give pedal so before that you have to add a condition control if add it here if inside the if condition add touching pedal so that means whenever this ball will touch the pedal we will increase our score click on the variable change change it to score change a score by one okay so what we will do whenever we have a score initially it is zero whenever it will touch the pedal it will increase the score okay then um then it will turn okay turn 180 degree turn it will turn actually again you know otherwise it will touch and it will again turn turn back whenever we will touch the pedal we have to turn back for this we have to uh, turn it 180 degree you know 180 degree means it's very simple just if you have a graph here 180 degree means it will turn in this way uh, okay again move 10 steps or 15 steps make it whatever you want then just keep some weight point maybe 0 0.05 or something i added here but i found actually convenient 0.5 second okay 0.5 second. so what will happen if i run it now if i touch it still now i didn't write any code for the pedal that's why pedal is not working but whenever i will touch my pedal it's not still working but my ball is working perfectly uh, this ping ball it's now whatever i wrote for the code it's working like this okay touch the pedal and now that's for our uh, code for the ball then go for the pedal let's see what can we write this is very simple whenever we'll just change it did i miss anything here in the ball section inside the block Okay, now write some code for the pedal. Whenever this will click, so what it will do basically? Um, let's move that. Set X. We will add a thing. I will discuss it. Mouse X. So, what will happen here? Uh, this pedal will follow the X position of the mouse. You know, last class I discussed what is X and Y position. X means this position. You know, whenever we declare something like whenever we have a window, this is our X position. Uh, this is our y position or uh, this is x bar y bar so x means this position so x means just it will go the here and there so this is our x position let's clear it so here our uh, pedal will just follow my mouse x position so let's check it see when I am changing it and it's also now working. Whenever it touches the ball, it's bouncing back. It's working perfectly. And also, and this pedal is following my exposition of the mouse. It's just following my exposition of the mouse. Whenever I am just changing it, 
dragging it here and there, it's also changing it. Now it's also working perfectly. Now I will write my code for the line. Uh, for the line, what will you do? Uh, I will add a sound also. So whenever it will touch the ball, uh, it will stop everything. Okay, that is the main thing. So add a loop here. So my main target is I will add a condition also. If my condition is what is sensing touching the ball. Whenever this line, this line, this red line will touch the ball, it will stop every script. Stop all. Add a stop all. So this is my main thing. Whenever this uh, red line will touch the ball, then it will stop the whole game. Let's check. Yeah, it's working. It's a stop. So if I show it again, uh, hit it here. See, my score is also increasing. Uh, it's working. Whenever it's touching the so you can add some sound here, uh, like it will make you more dynamic. I added a sound actually. What is the sound name? Bell toll. Delete it. Add a new sound. Uh, bell toll. Whenever it will touch the ball, then you can do it like play sound or a start sound, bell toll. Then you can wait a few seconds. Like wait a few seconds, 0 0.02. That means uh, the, uh, whenever it will touch the ball, red ball will touch the red line, it will just make a sound. Stop all means it will stop the whole game. Uh, it just made a sound. So you can change the sound. Okay, now I can write something for my, that's actually all for the codes for this sprite. I can write something for my, Channel, I added but the sound there. Okay. Now I will write something for my backdrop. Click on the backdrop, add a sound. Click on the sound. Like I will add a sound birthday. Click on the code event. Maybe this will be flagged. Then add a loop. That means it will run again and again. Just play sound birthday. Play sound birthday until done. Now, it is very simple. Whenever you run our program, continuously it will play birthday sound. And so what we are done actually. So we wrote some code for our ball, pedal and line. So here uh, we learned something special actually here today. That is whenever some sprite will touch someone, uh, then we can uh, follow some instructions or add some task there. Like if it touches this, thing it will bounce back again there and again also in this way also increase the we did this like increasing a score in our uh, like another game we discussed game hunt star hunter maybe but here also we learned something here there are two enemies uh, there are, there are one line here we will save our ball by using this green pedal whenever it will touch the pedal it will just turn 180 degree and it will uh, move back again or return back again. So we learn something like point in direction 45. 45 means 45 degree angles. Uh, then turn 180 degree means whenever it will touch it again, it will turn back 180 degree and it will return back. Okay, let's start. Like for the pedal, you know, pedal it will follow the mouse X position. That means this is our my mouse. This is Y position of the mouse. And this is the X position of the mouse. So my pedal will just follow the X position of the mouse. So you can explode it. So red line, the task is nothing. Whenever it will touch it, we will stop the program. That is the job of the red line. Whenever it will touch it, then we will stop the program. I just added some sound to make it more dynamic. Okay, if I run it now. Oh my God, only I scored one. Oh, let's go. 
कैन यू हियर द साउंड so that's it actually that's how you can create some interesting game so do you, if you have any question you can ask me about this project or this game so uh, this is actually very simple but very interesting and efficient game we can see a perfect project here actually so if you have any question you can ask me Okay. okay.